Oh, hello there. I'm coming to you from the truck of the future. What's one of its most interesting features? It doesn't need me. Germany is taking huge strides towards self-driving vehicles and autonomous mobility is set to become increasingly common on roads and rails, in the air and even on the water. So let's take a spin and see where it's going. In May 2022, Mercedes became the first car maker ever to be granted permission for a highly automatic Level 3 vehicle. The partial self-driving function is part of its S-Class series and made headlines the world over. BMW and Volkswagen are also hard at work on autonomous solutions. Self-driving cars have to process 5 gigabytes of data per minute, so the technological challenges are significant. Nonetheless, Germany's leading automobile association predicts, pessimistically, that self-driving cars will reach a 30% market share by 2050. The optimistic forecast is around a 45% share. Truck manufacturer MAN says it wants to have autonomous heavy transport vehicles on Germany's Autobahn. It's teaming up with braking manufacturer Knorrbremse, onboard network specialists Leoni and Bosch, the Fraunhofer Society and the Universities of Munich and Braunschweig for a research project called Atlas L4. Its goal is level 4 autonomous driving. The technology is fast advancing. It's really accelerating in recent years. All big players are in, the OEMs, the suppliers. We see also a lot of new companies, startups entering the business on autonomous driving and trucking. Also legislation is picking up, so there's no reason anymore uh, to blame legislation for less progress. And Germany is one of the first countries having now a law in place how to homologate autonomous vehicles, cars and trucks. What goes for the road also goes for the rails. Francis Alstom has developed into one of the leaders in the field of self-piloted trains in Germany. It's joined together with the German Aerospace Center and the Technical University of Berlin to test autonomous trains for the regional state of Lower Saxony. The state is chipping in 5.5 million euros to help pay for the prototype vehicles. Due to the high expertise of Alstom over decades, with autonomous metros and people mover, the challenge is right now to bring this technology into regional traffic. With autonomous trains, we want to prove that the system is more reliable, safer and comfortable. Autonomous flight encompasses everything from drones to air taxis to full-fledged planes and efforts to make it a reality are going on literally across the country. For example, there are test stretches in Kamenz and Kochstedt in the northeast and in the Stuttgart area in the southwest. Lilium, Volocopter and Joby Aviation are three well-known startups developing autonomous air taxis and in July, they were joined by heavyweight Volkswagen. It unveiled its Vimo passenger drone, nicknamed the Flying Tiger. The aircraft uses technology developed in VW's autonomous driving program. The autonomous mobility market in Germany is quite large. If we look at Germany as a country, it is the, the greatest and the biggest economy in Europe at this point. Uh, and we see German manufacturers that are heavily engaged into autonomous mobility. To give you a couple of numbers, today our market size is, lies around 80 billion US dollars. In 2025, we're going to be looking at about 200 billion US dollars. And in 2030, we have an estimate of around 300 billion US dollars. So you see, this is the right time to actually invest into the autonomous mobility market. Finally, Unleash Future Boats from Germany's northeastern coast is envisioning a future in which ferries for people and cargo no longer need captains. Unleash Future Boats is presenting an ecosystem for zero emission, autonomous mobility and logistics. Electrical propulsion retrofit kits, hydrogen filling stations, emission-free harbors, a European test and validation center for maritime autonomous systems and awarded regulatory sandbox are completing our ecosystem.
Unleash Future Boats received support from the Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Action. That allowed UFB to temporarily suspend the water rules on the Schlei Inlet, north of Hamburg, to test out autonomous solutions. It's yet another example of autonomous mobility in Germany. So you see, part of Germany's future is going to be getting people from A to B without anyone at the controls. Do you think your company has something to add to the journey? Germany Trade and Invest can help you transport your ideas to the heart of Europe at no charge because we're a government agency. Get in touch at gtai.com. Till next time, keep on trucking.